Earth's gravity set out to prove that mass doesn't affect the distance of a projectile. To do this, we built a potato cannon. We took potatoes with different masses and fired them and measured the distance and we took the hang. We used hairspray as the fuel, which can cause changes in the initial velocity depending on the amount used. So to find the velocity of potato one, we plug in the hang time and the range into our equation. Velocity of 26.2 meters per second for potato one. So now we're going to find the initial velocity of potato 2. So we're using the same exact equation. So velocity of 23.4 meters per second for our second potato, which as you can see is pretty close to our first one. second, which is actually 46% faster than the velocity of potato 1 and 2. And this was due to the fact that when loading the potato in and trying to launch it, it did not launch, so we had to refuel it. So we put twice as much hairspray into the chamber of potato 3, which led to a significantly larger initial velocity, which led to a longer hang time, 6.3 seconds which then caused it to travel a much further distance. Each potato had a different mass. Um, potato 1 was 53.4 grams. Potato 2 was much larger at 105.7, and potato 3 was 5.3 grams. One of the other factors that could have influenced the velocities of the potato is the angle at which the potato launcher was held on the chair when the potatoes are actually propelled. So we're going to use the equation sine of theta is equal to g times hang time all over 2v. So 66.1 degrees for potato 1, 59 point six degrees for potato too so we can already see there's a little bit of difference here and 64.8 degrees for our final potato so besides the actual angle other factors that could have affected the velocity of the potato is the amount of hairspray put into the chamber before ignition the wind, because the wind was blowing much harder on the third potato, and the actual air resistance of the potato due to the fact that a couple of them were shaped a little differently, so those all could have led to this small discrepancy between 26.2 meters per second and 23.4 meters per second. So excluding the variables which we just talked about, it's fair to deduce that the mass of the potato does not have an effect on the range or distance traveled because potato 2 had a mass twice as large as potato 1, yet they traveled almost the exact same distance. <laughs>